Hi and welcome back to Sweets and Beyond. My name is Ida and today we're going to be making a Puerto Rican dish which is arroz con salchichas or rice with Vienna sausages. Let me show you the ingredients. Here are the ingredients we're going to be using. We're going to be using three cups of long grain rice, two cloves of minced um, garlic, a little bunch of cilantro, three cubes of sofrito or three tablespoons so if you want to know how to make this sofrito go check out my video on how to make sofrito three cans of Vienna sausages I know a lot of people use Carmela but I personally don't like Carmela because they're too thin they're too salty I prefer these the armor we're gonna be using about one teaspoon of cumin one teaspoon of oregano course my nor sazon con culantro y achote we're going to be using salt and canola oil. Now let's get started. Okay, so my pan has been heating, my um, caldero has been heating at 7. My stove goes from 0 to 10 and it's at a 7. So now I'm going to add the canola oil, maybe about a quarter of a cup. I'm going to add the sofrito. the three cubes of sofrito gonna add the garlic and the cilantro I know you guys love this sound and it smells so good so now we're gonna sprinkle in the um, the oregano the cumin maybe a little bit more of oregano and we're going to saute this until the um, sofrito changes a little bit in color, which means that it's cooked. So I wanted to apologize for um, not getting to your comments because um, YouTube changed the way their comments are set up. And I'm missing, um, I see them too late, the comments. So if you guys want to reach me quick, you can go to my Facebook page, Sweets and Beyond, just um, post something on the wall and that's the easy it's faster to get me over there so um, check out my Facebook page Sweets and Beyond I post what I'm gonna do um, the videos so this way you can get a better feel of what I'm doing so we're gonna saute this and if you guys have any questions we're planning a Q&A so send it to my email Sweets and beyond at gmail I'm gonna link it on the bottom in the description along with the, the ingredients so um, just send me your questions and then I'm gonna do a live um, a Q&A where I'm gonna read your question and I'm gonna answer you okay so that'll be coming up soon so it changed in color oh look I got a new pot holder and it's um, silicone so I can't burn it well we'll see so okay we have everything um all nice and dark so we're gonna get the sazon I'm gonna put it in here I'm gonna move it around making sure the sofrito grabs all the color so then the next step is to add the three cups of rice I use three cups of rice and three cans of um, sausage so for every cup of rice I put in one cup of um, sausage so we're going to just stir this around, making sure it's all coated with the sofrito and the oil, making sure it gets a nice color, all the grains of rice. And this um, is just a flavor. I know that the sofrito already has cilantro, but I just like, like um, if I have it on hand, I will put in a couple of sprigs just for um, a little bit of the fresher taste so now I cut up the sausages in half with the liquid so remember 
three cans. We're going to place them in here. Oh, I forgot to cut one. There you go. So we're going to move this around. I don't know if the pot holder is blocking. So we're going to move this around. And now I have to get water. Enough water. So we'll be back with the water. So now we have the water. So three cups of water. I'm sorry, three cups of rice. And it's very tricky. Um, you just have to make sure that there is a two finger ratio from rice to water. So we're scraping the little bits from the bottom. So I can see that it's missing a little bit of water. So I think it's time for my spoon trick. Thank you for my fan. Um, one of my ladies on Facebook sent me a cute little picture of this. So we'll see. Maybe you won't do it because of the sausages. No, I won't do it today. Maybe the sausages are preventing it from doing. Well, it's okay. Now we're going to taste it. And it needs salt. So, I'm going to put this in. I don't know, maybe half a teaspoon. That's the thing, you have to cook by taste. Um, some people like it um, saltier than others. I mean, it's your own preference. See a little bit more. And this is basically it. We just wait. My stove is still at a seven. And um, we will leave it at a seven until it's maybe four minutes until it um, evaporates a little so it has to be like if it was an oatmeal so you can still move it around but um, then we'll lower it so we'll be back okay so it's bubbling away you see that you can move it like if it was a little bit I always say oatmeal so now we're gonna lower the flame from a seven to a two two and a half okay so this is a very quick and easy meal that you can make. Uh, my my family loves it. It's very easy, very quick. It tastes awesome. So we're gonna put the lid on it, and we will show you at presentation. Okay, so here you have it: arroz con salchichas or rice with Vienna sausages. I forgot to mention that once you initially cover it, wait 10 minutes, give it a stir. Put the lid back on it and cook it for 10 more minutes at 3. Remember, my stove goes from 0 to 10 um, at a 3. So, please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Buen provecho. I really have to try it. It looks so good. Hmm. To try it.